Hi everyone, it's Alicia with the Doherty Dozen and this is Simple Supper Saturday where I'm going to show you how to make the easiest home-cooked meal that takes no effort at all. Uh, but first, coffee. Today we are making turkey breast, mashed potatoes, grabbing peas from the freezer, and Hawaiian rolls off the bread shelf. Um, these are meals I make like once a week that I know, my, I have 11 kids. We are here, there, everywhere. They're all in sports. They're all in music lessons. They're all in activities. So I need meals that are just simple, but that is still cooked at home, not bought. You know what I mean? So anyways, these are honey brined turkey breasts. I have done this recipe without honey brined. I've just done regular turkey. I'm not gonna be putting any spices on this because it's already brined with spices. Um, but I've done it with plain turkey breasts. And if you do, I usually do like seasonal, onion powder, garlic powder, and poultry seasoning come out great that way. And we just love the honey brine whenever it's available. I try to grab that. Okay. Food safe foil liner in our slow cooker. Can never get these things. They're always supposed to like pull apart and be easy, but not for me. There. That's like all my kids at school. It would be quiet around here, but it's not. Okay, we're just putting these in the crock pot. of turkey. These are boneless, but you could do bone in as well. I got fill a soap dispenser. do it like that not put any liquid in tight lid cook it for four hours it'll be great um, I'm gonna put in just a little bit of chicken broth and water just to add moisture oh and I am gonna use up the rest of the jarred gravy that I bought at Thanksgiving time to go with the mashed potatoes. I was thinking I probably have stuffing left from Thanksgiving that I might, if I do, I'll, I'll cook that up too, because I want to use it up before it's expired. Okay, this is good. We're gonna cook this on low. If you were just doing one, if you were just doing one turkey breast, it would be uh, four hours on low. I've got, a lot so it's going to take longer to cook so i'm going to put this it should be about six o'clock that we eat dinner all right we're going to get the mashed potatoes in again i could make mashed potatoes homemade i know how to 
But we're gonna do the pre-made ones and just throw them in a crock pot. Simplify life. There's nothing wrong with it. Add a liner so you don't even have to do dishes. No, speaking of that, my dishwasher's funny. So, I apologize for that background noise. But, I'm having like a, okay, this is posting on Saturday, but it's actually Thursday today. I'm having a like get caught up around the house type of day. Just little odds and ends around the house. Ran a few errands like pharmacy. Um, yeah, I'm getting stuff done. Laundry, constant, constant laundry running now that we can do it at home. I am going to bring back a day in a life. I promise, I promise. I know you've been asking. We like crutched through the holiday season every year, followed by crutching through birthday season where we have five birthdays in five weeks, four weeks. And now, it's all good. Okay, I'm making my, we love mashed potatoes. We will eat all six. Like, we can eat. This is the dinner we can eat. They will eat most, if I made just four, they would eat them all. So I'm gonna make six because I prefer to have leftovers because I prefer to not have to say, no, you can't have more because I never want my kids to feel like there's not enough food, um, especially from like coming from foster care situations. Uh, they had moments in their life where there was not enough food. And so I just never in my house want that to be a scenario. So I always, always make more than enough food and we have a leftover day every week, leftover lunch. It's like this buffet lunch of leftovers. You don't usually record that day because I feel like that's pretty boring to watch leftovers. I don't know, maybe it's not. All right, so I'm cooking up six of these and then um, we'll add like a stick of butter to this later on. Oh, and I'm making a really fun dessert tonight, but that has nothing to do with this dinner. But I'll show you that too. Okay, so this I'm gonna put on low. This will be done before the turkey, but um, we'll just move it to keep warm at that point. Now the problem is, running my dish. Our kitchen has the wonkiest outlet system. You can only like, yeah, our whole house has wonky electricity. I'm hoping I don't break the popper, break the, pop the breaker, break the popper. Y'all knew what I meant though. Pop the breaker if I plug it in right here. We're gonna try it. We're gonna tempt fate right now. Don't pop the breaker. So far, so good. Yeah, I always have to be like strategic about, oh my gosh, Thanksgiving one year. Everything, the breakers kept popping. That was like the longest Thanksgiving meal prep ever. Okay, this is cooking. This is cooking. Hopefully stays cooking and we'll come back in several hours and finish up our super simple Saturday supper. Okay, it is almost five o'clock. We're gonna take the temperature of this turkey and see if it's done. We want it to be at 165. Throw the thermometer. Mm 
biggest one. Oh, yeah, we are done. Okay, so we're done. Done an hour before I thought it was gonna be done. We're gonna make up the sides and dinner's ready. The potatoes, they are good. We're gonna throw some butter in with them. And then I got these steam in the bag frozen peas. So you just put them in the microwave, five minutes. I've got the turkey on keep warm and now I've got the potatoes on keep warm. And the peas will go in here. I'm gonna put some jarred gravy in here. stuffing too and I thought I had some in the pantry but I don't so I gotta get some of it otherwise I would have thrown together some good old stovetop stuffing on a platter. Pretend we're fancy around here. My kids are cleaning up before dinner, so I might hear them. Cleaning up drumsticks. We will eat this tonight. If I wanted leftovers, I would make four. Wegmans only had three, so I went with what they had. Debating if I should set out salad too. My kids have been eating a ton of salad this week. Uh, let's see. Turkey. Mashed potatoes. And gravy. The key is kids have to have the house clean, homework done, and all their stuff done, and read for 20 minutes, and then after dinner they get electronics. Bribery. It works. Let's not call it bribery. It's like a reward system. All right. See, what does this take? Like two minutes? Two minutes, and like, yeah, we're done. I'm just throwing some parsley on this, so it was fancy. I was like, that's it. I know I was skeptical the first time I saw this recipe, but it's so juicy. Dinner's ready. I thought we had stuffing in the pantry, but. What? We had no stuffing in the pantry. Really? I know. I'm disappointed as well. 
That's too bad. I know. Alright. It's one of the best parts of a turkey dinner. Failed. Here is the finished product. Turkey, peas, mashed potatoes, and gravy, and dinner rolls. Yummo. Okay, these were the super cute ice cream soda floats I told you I was making tonight for Leap Day. Mountain Dew, vanilla ice cream, and froggy gummies. They're from Five Below. Thank you for joining me for my new series, Simple Supper Saturdays. You are strong, you are beautiful, you are loved, you belong, and I'm so proud of you. I'll see you next time.